Dear students, under the topic Lagrange's Linear Partial Differential Equations, in this video we are going to learn the method of multipliers. In our previous video lectures under this topic, we learned about the method of grouping. Now when the method of grouping is not applicable, the second method that we choose to solve the problem is the method of multipliers. In the introduction video, I have already explained what is method of multipliers, but still, again, we will have an overlook of it now while going to solve the problems under this topic. Before that, let us write the common initial stage of this problem, that is, comparing the given equation with the standard form of the Lagrange's linear partial differential equation. We know that the standard form of the Lagrange's equation is given by capital P multiplied with small p plus capital Q multiplied with small q is equal to capital R. So this is the standard form of the Lagrange's equation. Now when we compare the given equation with the standard form, we observe that capital P is equal to y minus z capital Q is equal to Z minus X and capital R is equal to X minus Y. So let us take that and write now. So we have taken and written capital P, capital Q and capital R. The next step is we have to write the, we have to write the auxiliary equation of the Lagrange's equation. So the auxiliary equation of the Lagrange's partial differential equation is given by dx by capital P is equal to dy by capital Q is equal to dz by capital R. So this is the auxiliary equation. So let us substitute the value of P, Q and R in this equation now. So after substituting the value of P, Q and R, this is what we obtain. Now let us mark this as 1 and this as 2 and this as 3 as we have done in our previous problems from 1 to 10 that we have solved already. Now after this here comes the task to select whether we have to use the method of grouping or we have to use the method of multipliers. Now how to differentiate it for, for that we have to check whether we are able to compare the equations by variable separable method that is while comparing the equation if we are able to separate them by variable separable method, then we have to adapt the method of grouping. If we are not able to do so, then we have to adopt the method of multipliers. For example, now if you compare equation 1 and equation 2, you see that here you have dx by y minus z and here you have dy by z minus x. We have three variables but we have only dx and dy and we observe that it will be a difficult task to separate it by using the variable separable method as we are having z over here. So we leave the comparison of 1 and 2. So what we do, we choose the comparison of 2 and 3. But for this problem, we observe that it is impossible to integrate by variable separable method again. Because here we have dy by z minus x and here we have dz by x minus y. So we will be not able to separate the variables as we are having y over here. I mean x over here. Uh, here also we have x and here also we have x but we have only dy and dz and definitely it will be difficult for us to do so. Similarly when we compare 1 and 3 we result with the same case. Now in such case we cannot take the method of grouping. So for that reason, we have to adopt the method of multipliers. So now let us see what is this method of multipliers. So already in the introduction video, I have explained about the method of multipliers. That is, in the method of multipliers, we have to choose any three multipliers. For example, in general, they are calling it as L, M and N. In such a way that the auxiliary equation will also be equal to so in auxiliary equation, we know that we mark this as 1 and this as 2 and this as 3 and we form another equation 4. And how do we do that? Uh, we do it by multiplying L with equation 1 and adding 
uh, with that is with equation 2 we have to multiply m and also with equation n i mean uh, 3 we have to multiply n and then we have to add them separately in the numerator and separately in the denominator so if you see here l into dx plus a, m into dy plus n into dz we have to do in the numerator separately in a similar manner l into p plus m into q plus n into r we have to do separately in the denominator so now if we arrive if the de denominator becomes zero that is we have to choose l m n in such a manner that we should make the denominator zero and if that is zero then the numerator can be equated to zero and we can obtain the solution by direct integration that is we will get the first solution and secondly to in order to find the second solution again we have to change the multipliers first we have to choose a set of multipliers and in the second case we have to choose another set of multipliers and solve the problem in the same manner as we do now you will understand this better when we apply this method for the problem that we are solving let us do that now so here we have the auxiliary equation where we have 1 2 and 3 now we have to form a new uh, fourth one that is what we have to do we have to multiply l with dx so l dx plus m dy plus n dz divided by now l y minus z plus same thing we have to do in the denominator also m z minus x plus n multiplied with x minus y now we have to choose l m n in such a manner that the denominator should become zero so let us see that now for that reason first we will mark this as 4 and how did we get this 4 by multiplying m n uh, and uh, yeah, l m n with these three equations and adding them separately with numerator and this denominator as well so let us see the next step so now we will consider the denominator alone in order to choose the multipliers so in 4 the denominator alone we are going to consider so what is the denominator l into y minus z plus m into z minus x i plus n into x minus y now what is the task we have to choose l m and n in such a manner that the denominators should become zero so what we will do we will put now we will put values for l m n and we will check now if you want to make this as this completely as zero let us try by putting l equal to 1 m equal to 1 and n equal to 1 in this denominator so what will happen the denominator will become so if you put l as 1 so 1 multiplied with y minus z is y minus z plus m is 1 so 1 multiplied this is z minus x plus n is what 1 so 1 multiplied with x minus y will be x minus y now you check whether you are getting 0 Yes, minus x plus x will get cancelled, plus y minus y will get cancelled, and minus z plus z will get cancelled, and therefore the denominators become denominator becomes zero. So let me just mark this as uh, subdivision one, so that in future I will be making use of it. Now, uh, therefore, the first set of multipliers are one comma one comma one. That is, the value of l is one. the value of m is 1 and the value of n is equal to 1 in general we say l comma m comma n so what it is the multipliers are 1 comma 1 comma 1 so remember in this manner i am writing in this way so that you should understand this problem more better so these are the first set of multipliers which will give us the first solution now next what we have to do we have to find the next set of multipliers which will give us the second solution that is these multipliers will give us the solution u and next set of multipliers we are we have to find in order to find the solution v 
so that we can in general write the solution what is the solution phi of u comma v equal to 0 so uh, we will do that also simultaneously and we will find the second set of multipliers also then we will go and solve the problem so to find the second set of multipliers now so for your understanding i have written this that is first we uh, we have found the first set of multipliers now next what we have to do we have to find the second set of multipliers so again in 4 we have to consider the denominator so what is the denominator l multiplied with y minus z plus m multiplied with z minus x plus n multiplied with x minus y now we have to find new set of values l m and n in such a manner that when we substitute those values and in this uh, equation it should completely become 0. Now let us put the value of L to be equal to X, M to be equal to Y and N to be equal to Z. So I am choosing the multipliers as X, Y and Z. So what will happen to the denominator? Now you substitute this X over here. So it will be X multiplied with Y minus Z. Okay plus what is m y so y multiplied with z minus x plus what is n is z so z multiplied with x minus y now this will be equal to x y minus x is z plus y is z minus y x plus z x minus if you multiply this minus z y now you see whether you are able to cancel you have x y here and you have y x here and this is minus which means x y only because it is in product. So x y minus x y will be 0. This, these two gets cancelled. And minus x z you have here. Do you have x and z together so again? Yes we have here and it is plus. So this and this will get cancelled because it is x z and z x both are same. So this is minus this is plus so it gets cancelled. So similarly y z minus z y. Both are same, so it will get cancelled. Therefore, we get this to be equal to 0. So, let us mark this as Roman letter 2. So, that we will make use of it in the uh, future of this problem, uh, while solving the problem. So, uh, we have got the second set of multipliers. So, therefore, the second set of multipliers L, M, N, R, what are they? X, Y and Z. So, X, Y and Z. So these are the second set of multipliers which when multiply when you when used here makes the denominator as 0. So after finding the two set of multipliers we will substitute each one of them separately in 4 in order to find the final solution of this problem. So let us uh, do that now. So now what we will do we will take this 4 and let us write now. So what is that? So I have taken and written 4 over here. So now here in 4 this is dy. Okay by mistake I have written only y here. So make that change it is dy. Okay yes. So now we have taken and written it here. So now in this we will substitute the set of multipliers. What are, what are, what are the first set of multipliers? L, M, N it is 1, 1, 1. So let us do that. So we are choosing the multipliers 1, 1, 1. So what will happen to 4? So when we put L equal to 1, we get dx in the numerator plus m equal to what? 1. So m into dy. So dy plus n is equal to 1. So the 3 multipliers are 1. So 1 when you put 1 into dz, we have dz divided by if you put L, m, n as 1, 1, 1 in the denominator, it will become 0. How it will become 0? Already we have seen here that is from this Roman letter 1. So now you will know why I have marked this as Roman letter 1. Because to show that when you substitute 1, 1, 1 in the denominator of equation 4. While choosing the multipliers as L, M, N to be 1, 1, 1. It is becoming 0. So from this 1 we get this as 0. This is from Roman letter 1 so that you will know from where I have used it. So now from the method of multipliers what we know? We know that if the uh, that is the denominator if the denominator is equal to 0 then we can equate the numerator to 0. 
this is by the rule of method of multipliers so now using this rule over here what is the numerator the numerator is dx plus dy plus dz and this can be equated to 0 now we have to find the solution by integrating on both the sides so when we integrate on both the sides what we get what is the integration of dx it is x plus the integration of dy is y plus the integration of dz is z and that will be equal to a constant so because when 0 is integrated we, we should have a constant of integration so that's constant is c1 so therefore this will give us the first solution u so therefore the solution u is equal to x plus y plus z so we have obtained the first solution u of the Lagrange's equation in a similar manner by using the second set of multipliers we will find the solution v so to find the second solution we should choose the multipliers as what what are the second set of multipliers that we got the second set of multipliers that we got is this one l m n is x y z so now this we have to make the choice so let us do that so when we may uh, choose these as multipliers what will happen to equation 4 that is at this place we have to use x y and z so at the place of l as x m as y and n as z so when we substitute what we get x dx plus y dy plus z d z that is m is x yeah i mean l is x m is y n is z so that substitution we have made so by making that the numerator is this and what about the denominator we already saw it will become zero this is from that is we saw that is roman letter 2 i marked right that from that we can say this that is if you see here we took the denominator and we took the multipliers as x y z and we got it to be 0. So from 2 we can say that this denominator is 0. And from the method of multipliers what we know? By the rule if the denominator turns out to be 0. Then we can equate the numerator as 0. So x dx plus y dy plus z dz is equal to 0. Now integrating on both the sides. So what you will get? Or integrating on both the sides. What is integration uh, x dx? It is x squared by 2 plus integration of y dy is y squared by 2 plus what is the integration of z dz it is z squared by 2 which is equal to a constant c2 so this from this we can take the lcm on the left and so it will be x squared plus y squared plus z squared the whole divided by 2 is equal to c2 and taking this constant to the right we will have x squared plus y squared plus z squared to be equal to 2c2 but again 2c2 is another constant only which we can write in general as c2 and this will give us the second solution v and so therefore the second solution v is equal to x square plus y square plus z square so this is the second solution v that we have obtained already we have obtained the solution u and now we have obtained the solution v and therefore the general solution phi of u comma v is equal to 0 is what phi of what is u it is uh, here we have x plus y plus z so x plus y plus z comma what is v x squared plus y squared plus z squared and so this is equal to 0 is the general solution few textbooks give it as equal to c also that is also considered by our textbook i am following phi of u comma v to be equal to 0 is the general solution so hope you have understood this problem the main task in this problem is the choice of multipliers that we make one may wonder how to make the choice of the multipliers but this comes purely by the practice only when you do when you solve more problems on this topic you will get adapted to the way of choosing the multipliers and immediately you will be able to judge the multipliers that you have to choose in order to solve the problem so do not get worried how to choose the multipliers it will come to you by by purely practicing more problems on this topic in our upcoming videos, we will solve more problems on this topic so that you get uh, knowledge how to choose the multipliers in order to solve the problem. 
and by the end of the uh, problems that we solve i hope you will be thorough by uh, by the knowledge like how to choose the multipliers in order to get the solution so uh, uh, find kindly follow the upcoming lectures on this topic for more updates you may check the playlist also thank you and happy learning